It's the Rebels opening up 2017 against South Alabama. Garvin on first down, hands it off to Xavier Johnson. Coordinator Phil Longo, one of six new assistants. Of course, you've got the interim head coach in Matt Luke. First pass is complete. That is DK Metcalf. into the air. He's got Van Jefferson inside the 10. First and goal on this. Patterson to the air. End zone. Touchdown to Marcus Lodge. Garvin in trouble. Nowhere to go. And set. A.J. Moore the Patterson with time. On the move, Panaman out of the backfield. First and goal inside the five. Matt Luke opting for the field goal. Wonderlich makes his 18th consecutive field goal. A new school record for Ole Miss. Garvin to the air. That is caught near sideline. Sam Harris, the former walk-on. Garvin on third down, standing in, open receiver. And that is caught by the running back, Denzel Foster, first and goal, the one-yard line. Garvin, nothing there. They gave us to Minter. Tackled immediately by Coatney, third and goal. Garvin rolling out, pumps, throwing, incomplete fourth down. To go. This is a 20-yard chip shot. And that one is good. South Alabama on the board. Uh, for Ole Miss, said he could play at any level of football. Preseason, first team all Sun Belt. That ball was juggled. South Alabama says they have it, and they do feel it. Excellent job here. Looked like there was miscommunication there between the quarterback and the this defensive part. Garvin taking a shot downfield. Caught! Touchdown, Jamarius Way! And South Alabama has the lead. Over the head of C.J. Moore, who lost himself in the end zone there and just didn't find the football. And it's great concentration. Soon. They don't have the lead. It's 10 to 9. This extra point would tie the game. Go, go. Gary Wunderlich, 22 of 23 last year. Puts this one through the uprights. He's made a 19 consecutive field goal. Off play action, A.J. Brown. Patterson sold it, and Brown brings it home. Camp because he presents such a matchup problem. And Ahmad, take us through what happens here. Well, he's in the slot there on the short side of the field, and oftentimes when you're there, you've got to run a route across the field. But what I love about that route is you see him initially, he almost went underneath the linebacker, but it was the awareness from Brown that allowed him to go over top of coverage right there. And he put, um, he put number one, Jeremy Reeves, in a bad spot. Of your screen. A screen pass here, Van Jefferson tripped up. Metcalf. Patterson. Uh, he's dancing. Fine time, throws on the run. In traffic, Brown holds it in, breaks the tackle. A.J. Brown down the sideline. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Trey Minter to the outside and wrestled to the ground by Charles Wiley, the freshman. Johnson breaking tackles, still on his feet. Garvin over the middle. First and goal. Kick by Gavin Patterson is up and good. And it's 26-13 with five. Chance to talk to a lot of Ole Miss fans in the last 24 hours, and this isn't a scientific poll. People are rooting for Matt Luke to succeed and run with this here. Yeah. 
Big return here by Jalen Jones. He's going to run with this. Jones to the house. No flags. Touchdown. Oh, miss. Patterson slings one over the middle. Lodge. He's got his second touchdown. And the Rebels have opened it up Play here. The, the next thing you know, he zips this thing on a line right into the perfect location for Lodge to run through the catch and score a touchdown. There's people listening at home. Garvin's pass batted down. Big bodies at this point in the game. There's old reliable A.J. Brown into the clear. Brown in second. You're just trying to find a break and trying to gasp for air. They won't find it here. Penniman finds the end zone. Say, this is what we do well, and we're going to make sure that they have to defend this. That's when you see results. Garvin diving oh, for the end zone in the South Alabama. And he said, absolutely. This is very similar. We need him to embrace that leadership role and take a second. play pitcher against Matt Luke got beamed, so they made a new rule that everyone had to stand in the outfield when Matt Luke came up to bat. Foster. Pushing his way and churning down to the one yard line. And they're going to mark him down at the one. Um, even last year, when we had a game here versus Memphis and got a chance to talk to him, I, I think this, I think that Matt Luke is proving that he is more than a viable candidate. I, in my opinion, and I said it early in the broadcast. And bowl teams from last year on the schedule. Only Notre Dame and Syracuse play more, 11 apiece for those two. Fourth down, Ole Miss converts. And that will be the last play of this game.